All right, this one's gonna be a review of uh, this mini keyboard. This one's made by Favi, or that's the brand name. So Favi mini keyboard. And I'm gonna show you what I use this uh, with my, uh, I call it my command line media center, but not really, we'll see here. So this one is uh, a very small keyboard. Um, I like it a lot, I've been using it for the last six months, right? So I'll show you what they have here. So on the side here, this is the on and off toggle, just push up and down. This is the mini uh, USB here. This is they give you a wire with this, and this is how you would charge it. So you just plug this fucking thing into the wire, and you know to your computer, and it'll charge it. Um, right here they have this little button, and this button activates these um, laser pointer here. So you can use this as a presentation, a slideshow, or whatever it is. Um, that's that. And here, this is where they keep your. Uh, if you have the USB version, this is where they keep it. So they have the little. Um, micro USB dongle and that's how you connect it to your computer wirelessly with that right uh, as far as the keyboard itself um, one thing I hate is that it only goes up to F8 I wish it go go up to F12 but obviously it's a mini one so it has to do some compromise um, so if you're missing those keys you, you gotta make do with something else right and as far as the letters and the numbers they have everything that you would need uh, and here this is the trackpad so you can use this to move the mouse like up, right, down, you know, up, down, left, right, and all that crap. Uh, they do have these two buttons. Whoops, let me do this here. Go down. These two buttons here. This FN and, well, I don't know what this logo is, but it's on top of the out key. Is, it looks like a fucking monitor, so FN and monitor, okay. Uh, if you hit these two things here, it will actually ch reverse the... Uh, uh, it was a directional pad, uh, so I'll show you that right here. So you hit these two suckers. Um, you can actually hold your, you know, your keyboard like this way, and you use your thumb to move up this way, down, left, right, and all that. So much better in your hands if you're doing it this way. Obviously, I, don't, I probably won't, you know, I don't think a lot of people use it to control their mouse that way. It's kind of stupid, so probably not as useful. Okay. But after that, you want to go back to normal, you just hit the two hotkeys again, and you're back to normal, controlling it. Uh, other stuff they have in here. Uh, this one is up and down, left and right, directional pad. And over here, and over here, so left and right mouse click. So that's that. And if you're doing this from uh, in the dark, and you can't see your fucking keys, you hit this button, this red shit, and there you go, you have glow in the dark. And this thing, uh, I think after 5 or 10 seconds, it will just turn off if you're not uh, pressing any of the keys. And there you go, right? So that's that. Uh, anything else? No, let's get to uh, the command line part. Uh, command line media center, right? So if you're doing it uh, from the command line. Oops, let me hear. What the fuck? And let's clear that. There we go. So if you do this from the command line, um, if you think about a media center, all it really is is just a GUI file manager. Really it is. It's just a GUI file manager. And all it does is allow you to use your keyboard or remote or something like that to click up and down, left and right, and some fucking buttons to hit OK. You know, if you really think about it. That's all it is from a, uh, a media center, right? So we have something like that in the command line, right? So I'm using Quake here as my terminal, and I bind it to uh, my cap lock because the cap lock is pretty fucking useless, and you can remap it, and that's how I uh, toggle my my uh, Quake terminal. And I'm using uh, Tmux to switch around, so learn how to use Tmux if you want. Probably not a requirement because you can use uh, some terminals to switch to different windows. With different hotkeys, right? But let's see here. We want a command line file manager, Ranger. And basically, this one, you can watch uh, movies. You know, uh, and this is how you browse it up and down arrow. And if I want to watch like Doom Day's Preppers, I can go here, hit this, and you see it opens the player, and I can full screen it, and forward it if you want, and quit out of this sucker when I'm done. Right, go back here, select another movie. What is this shit? Some Asian shit you can watch. Right, so there you go, quit. 
Uh, so that's how you do local uh, stuff. And let's quit out of this. If you want to look at the uh, music, you go to use CMOS or any other, uh, um, you know, NCURS music player. So here we go. We have all these fucking things. Um, and you can listen to music that way. So I'll quit out of that. I already mentioned the, all these suckers. And anything else? Oh, yeah, YouTube. Okay, so let's say you want to look at YouTube. Uh, I call it YouTube. What's that? YouTube viewer you can use. And you can search for, um, I don't know, game or something. Gaming. And you can search uh, YouTube this way. And you can watch uh, YouTube. Let's say three or whatever. What the fuck is this one? I don't know. It should stream that video. There you go. And that's so you can watch YouTube. Otherwise, you can actually set up your uh, subscription, which uh, I have my subscription here. All right, if I want to watch Jeff Canada's uh, new show, I can go um, directly to his playlist. If I press it right, there you go. And let's say I want to watch number six here. Push enter, and it will just stream his uh, YouTube videos here. So there we go. Quit out of that. So that's how you do YouTube. Uh, you can do that for videos, or you can use YouTube for um, just music. You don't want to listen, or you don't look at the videos. So I call this UT Listen. And it's to say you search for Madonna or something like that. All right. And and you can, you know, search for songs and listen to here. Kind of like Spotify. And then you press uh, the number that you want to listen to. And there you go. It'll stream it with Mplayer. Quit out of that when you're done. Or you can use that other one called PMS that I talked about last time. And let's say we search for Madonna again. And this is another way to do that. Um, let's say, what, what number? 18 or something. And there you go. You can listen to that way. But let's say we quit. Quit again. And there we go. That's it for that. So that's how you do streaming music and videos. I can do this with porn too. But obviously this is YouTube so I can't show you that. But I could do that too. Uh, I do have scripts for those. Again, I can't show you that. Uh, anything else here? Oh yeah, let's say uh, Sopcast. I showed you that a long time ago. Remember this fucking thing? We watch like Animal Planet and HBO and all that fucking stuff. So this one takes about 15 seconds. Because I put a sleep uh, command with it. That's why you see sleep on all my team mugs there. So we'll wait for this here. And there we go. Now we're watching uh, Animal Planet uh, streaming, right? Uh, so that's that. Or you can use a uh, live streamer if you want to watch uh, Justin TV or Twitch TV or whatever it is. Up to you. There's a, a lot of possibilities. And if you watch all my command line videos over the years, you can use all those commands here uh, from the terminal, obviously. Uh, other things that annoyed me when I was doing this is that you have to change the fonts if you're far away. From your bed, you know, your bed and, and your desktop here. Uh, obviously, if you're far away, you want to change the font so you can see it bigger, right? So, to do that, uh, I have this command which is called ch font size. And if I want to make it bigger, let's say uh, 32, it'll be bigger, right? Um, let me uh, do that again here so you can see better what I'm talking about. So, let's say if I do Ranger here. And let's say this one, um, what is that? V, P, C, capital P, and control A, and dash. There we go. <clears throat> so you see, if it's too small for me or something like that, like the original size would be, uh, what is that? This size. And most of you, this is like how we, you know, it would be normal if I'm uh, next to my computer. Um, you know, I have a standing desktop here, so this is how it will look like when I'm at my computer. But if I'm far away, like in my bed, I won't be able to see this fucking thing. It's too small. The fonts are too small. So I have to use CH fonts, and then I change it to 32. And you see it's bigger. So that's how I change the fonts, just using this alias here. And this alias, um, what is it called? CH fonts here. Let me see. Let's see, what is it here? Which... Uh, ch fonts. This one, what the fuck, ch fonts. There you go. So this one is just a, a, a 
function that uses uh what is that uh gconf tools and you know you set it to the mono space to uh whatever font size you want uh, for mono space or any other fonts you want to choose so that's the functions there i'll probably post it in the description too if you want to do that but that's my uh, function to change the fonts of you know different size so you can do like 32 you can do like 16 if you want um you know any amount of size that uh, the font support so there we go that's how you do that and obviously like navigating here i just use tmux if you want to use tmux uh so that's how i use you know this remote with my uh command line media center like i said and i probably would recommend it if you have a you know not a powerful computer that can handle xpmc or something i mean i like xpmc it's just that um sometimes it's not suitable if you have a low-end computer and sometimes it's not suitable um well i just don't like it that much anymore i used to like it but uh it's not as fast as I like it to be. And this one is really fucking fast. Uh, if you know all the commands, that is. If you're not a command line person, obviously it's not going to be fast for you. So use it as your own discretion if, uh, you know, whatever your skill level is at. Anyways, that's how I use this remote and my command line media center. Everything else will be in the description that I mentioned. That'll be it for this one.